So hi, on the Good Noise Podcast, we're here with the Gold Flame. Uh, yes! <laughs> we are going to ask them some questions today. I am going to start. What inspired you guys to start the band? Oh, um, okay, so. It's all up to Jackson. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, are you okay. good? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have to, this is like a really long story. So, uh, Gold Flame has been a thing uh, for like a longer than a lot of people like expect or know. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been uh, 10 years this October. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I started this when I was in fourth grade and I, I just wanted to be like Green Day. And then I was like, oh, what are some cool names? And it was like, I, there was like a flower named Gold Flame. So I was like, okay, I'll like do that. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> that was so chaotic. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I heard um, I got international super hits and I heard Welcome to Paradise. I was like, huh, that's cool. I'm going to do that. Okay, Gold Flame time. All right. Yeah, yeah, bro. Solid. Like yeah. Solid. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, on, on uh, the shitter, just not like on the shitter one day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh, I think I will uh, do this. <laughs> but yeah, like, flowers. it's like a very, like, Gold Flame from 2010 to 2015 is very different from like 2015 to now. Like, mm-hmm. 2010 to 2015 was like fucking awful. And, I, and like, 2015 to now is like, I actually kind of like, started like being like not horrible so yeah, taking it seriously yeah yeah, yeah. yeah exactly right, i get that Solid. i should so, change the name though oh wait, go, sorry <laughs> no no it's okay i think i think the name is great yeah. so thank you thank you yeah uh can you tell us a little bit about your writing process i i hope it's yes! fucking chaotic it just it, yes. it radiates that energy <laughs> yes, yeah. Button. Oh, yeah so uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's not funny. Um, <laughs> like, okay, so I I might just I'm trying to go off of like the new record, like what I did. Um, I'd kind of just it would either be like I would have an idea for like a chorus or something, and then mm-hmm. I would like leave that for like six months to three years. Oh my god! And then I, yeah, and then I would like write the rest of it. Would like combined with other parts that I'd come up with in that time, mm-hmm. or I would just like sit down and be like, "Huh, I have a riff," and then be like, "I think I'm just gonna write a whole fucking song today." And okay. yeah, so like the song "Save Me for Myself" from the new album, that like mm-hmm. the chorus was written in like 2017, and then the rest was like 2019. So oh, that's wow. kind of like one of the compilation songs, or whatever. And then like "Hard to Love," I just like wrote in like one sitting. Wow. Album, so yeah, you have a very chaotic writing style, dude. I do. I, I, do. It, I can tell. It just radiates that energy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's worse, the writing style or the recording. Oh god! <laughs> tell us about the recording Wait, process. Us. Tell us. Okay, recording process. Okay, actually, uh, well, very well known secret. Um, I play all the instruments on like Gold Flame stuff. So like new album, last album, the EPs, everything. Like it's all me. And so basically, uh, I. For, well, for the last two records, we went to uh, we me. Um, I'm just gonna say we because like swag, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Exactly. We went to like different studios and did drums. Like every song, like like obviously me. Like I don't know where I was going with that. I don't really know how to like talk and stuff. But like um, I do like all the drums and then I go and like I like be crazy and like I don't eat anything so like I could keep my energy levels up. You know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I basically do that, and then I, like, take everything home, and then I, like, do everything else in my room, and then I, like, release it. I remember... Oh, sorry. I remember remember one time I went over to the studio when he was recording drums. I went over at, like, 7.30 at night, (laughs) and he was there until, like, since, like, 11 a.m., and he was like, oh, yeah, I haven't eaten anything all day. Oh my god! And you did, like an eight-hour yeah. drum session without eating a single bite to eat. Oh yeah, Jesus. and then you like brought some McDonald's too. <laughs> I brought you a McChicken, and that's all you had. <laughs> and then I ate it in between takes of the song Anchorage. <laughs> and then once I, once I like went back after eating food, I was like, I cannot play drums anymore. What the fuck happened? <laughs> so yeah. All right. Wow, solid. Yeah. Um. <laughs> So then, what was the first song that you wrote for the project? Oh, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Every single question. I love it here. It's like, he has to yell oh as loud as possible. <laughs> the first.
first song I wrote for Gold Flame was well, like the first like completed song was called Change Your Mind, and it was like in 2011. And it was like how I like like this girl, and I was like, "Huh, you don't like me? Well, like you should like change your mind and like me, bro, because like I like you, dude." Like, <laughs> like basically that. I was 10 years old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And yeah, and then like the first song that I wrote that got released was called Excuse to Criticize and it was about how I was like bullied and shit, which is like not tight, but oh. like the song is like kind of tight, even though there's like key changes for no fucking reason. <laughs> like from the verse to the, <laughs> from, okay, the verse, the first verse and the first chorus are in the same key and then the second verse is like a step up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, so that's actually like on the that's on our band camp. It's on our second EP, Illusion. Don't listen to that though, it's really bad. <laughs> Alright, okay. so stream illusion. Stream Dude, illusion no! right now. Like, like, God, this world. Put like a sensor over that. Like yeah. a sensor <laughs> stream. over that whole center. <laughs> that It's a lot of work so, though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um so we spoke oh, about you. your first single. Um Let's talk about your most recent one. How do you feel about the reception to it? Uh, yo, that was pog as fuck. <laughs> Holy oh shit. my god! Yeah. That was like... <laughs> pog like, as fuck, bro. It was pog as fuck. I love that so much. Like, pog I did not expect, like, that many people to listen to it. Like, I think first single for The Deep End got, like, 50 streams in a day, and this one, like, hit, like, 150 in, like, 12 hours. Damn. Wow! So yeah, that was like fucking crazy. And then like hey, my friends sick. were all like calling me and so like, yo, what? Uh, like, <laughs> like, it was like so sick. And like my friends are like, like my friend Haley like is oh, like Haley telling Williams? like her simp's to listen to it, which is like sick, like simp marketing. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> it was like really sick. Um, wow. Congrats. So this isn't a question that we had, but I did see it on the timeline. You said uh, you would explode if uh, San Atlantic dropped their album on the same day. How do you feel about that? I <laughs> <laughs> fucking I I was like I was talking to my girlfriend about that. I was like, I swear a fucking Stand Atlantic and Gold Flame share release date again, I'm gonna like fucking like blow up like my house. And like fuck it's meant up. to be, you guys have and, to tour. Like Exactly, I, just tour I together. Fucking wish those Australian fellas were like, <laughs> like um <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Um, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> he just that does so it, like, <laughs> involuntarily. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, anyway, so first album, The Deep End, and their first album, uh, fucking, what is it called? Skinny Dipping, both released on the same day. Our second album, The Burnout Generation, August 7th, and their second album, Pink Elephant, both released on the same day. I think there's something going on at Hopeless. They're trying to fucking steal our thunder. I think they, they like us too much, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyways, so um, I was like, I was talking to Sean, and I was saying how like I kept thinking in Australian and I couldn't stop. <laughs> Like, and then I would like I was I was like trying to say something and I was trying to like say the word with that oh wait okay first side note okay side note again um mm -hmm. I like the my main point was like I would like drop something and in my head I would go oh no <laughs> <laughs> and then like I was talking to Sean and like they said something and I, I said something and I was trying to say the word without but I said without and I didn't notice and oh, they were like what the fuck did you just say? I was like, what? Is it you said without with an Australian accent? I was like, no, I didn't. What? And so yeah, and so I've had to like, for that like time, I had to like make an effort to not speak Australian. Wow. Oh, my water almost just went through my nose. <laughs> I don't know. This this Australian accent seems like it comes really naturally to you. Yeah, I don't know why. Like when I was on tour in January, I was like torturing everyone with like British accents of poop jokes, and then by the end of it, everyone was like trying to do it, but like no one has as much swag and rich and fame as me. So yeah. like I of course have like the most like epic one of like yeah. yeah. So like basically. That's I, it. As you should. Yeah. And we were gonna be touring in um, August for this album. But then, like, fucking, like, coronavirus happened, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was going to be on that San Atlantic tour, right? You guys were going to finish that off with them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then I was going to bring out the Australian accent for that one as a sequel to the British accent. <laughs> oh, solid. <laughs> um, oh, so, as Gloria said, you guys released that new song, Late Bloomer. Uh, what, made yeah! you, <laughs> what made you choose the name for that? Um, it's, a, it's in the lyrics. That says it. And I thought it sounded cool. And I was like, huh, huh. like Bloomer, sick. That's a cool phrase. Very pop punk. Don't yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Solid. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so you recently uh, announced an album that you're releasing on yeah. the same day as Stan and Lennox. Yeah. <laughs> um, called The Burnout Generation. Yeah! <laughs> 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 what can we, what can we expect um from the new album? Oh, pog. Uh, thirteen tracks of pog. Um, <laughs> okay, so wait, let's do a track by track rundown. Oh god, the oh my god, rock sound. Okay. Like oh, a whole fuck. album, just pure swag. <laughs> yeah, okay. swag. play the whole album, each song like at once. All right, I'm going on <laughs> iTunes pre-order page. Fuck yeah, cause I, the yeah. Famous. Give Sorry us, for being give famous. Us your money. Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Stop flexing. Yeah, bro. bro. How many pre-orders you got? A couple million. Uh, yeah, just a couple billion. <laughs> oh god, my fucking phone died. This world. Bro. <laughs> god, I can't do this anymore. The album. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. The album has seven billion. Um. The, al murders. the album has seven billion tracks. <laughs> Seven billion tracks Jackson, and seven billion pre-orders. Wait, I, I I got the I got the fucking track list on Bandcamp. Okay, it all feels so scripted. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, track one. It all feels so scripted. That's a that's a quote from the movie My Suicide. Great movie. He doesn't actually kill himself. It's just a movie. Um, Good to know. Yeah, uh, the song is the shortest on the album. At mm -hmm. uh, some time, it takes up. Um, uh, two minutes and 40 yeah! seconds. Yeah! Uh, it starts off with a sample that Brody Hamilton from Khaki Cubs sent me. He was like, yo, this is where we were going to have this be our album title. And I was like, yo, wait, can I use that shit? And they were like, all right. And so I used it. Are my pants ripping? Yeah, let me it. All right, anyways. <laughs> uh, track two, Late Bloomer. Everybody in the whole entire world already knows everything about that song. Uh, I really wrote true. that song. Actually, I remember the exact date. Uh, January 2nd, 2019, I wrote that song. Big mm -hmm. Pog. All right, massive. third song. No, two, yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah, math. All right, sicko mode. Um, he wrote it track for three. Birthday. It's actually a song about me. Yeah. Wholesome. Uh, track three, Participation Trophy. That song written in uh, about a uh, past relationship that, like, that, like my ex-girlfriend from, like, middle school, like, ruined my life, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. But uh, so I was like... Oh, the Australian's starting to come out. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to get like too heavy, but like that was actually like like a super shitty situation that I'm kind of like still dealing with and shit. So I was like, yo, oh. I'll fucking write a Blink One Eighty Two ripoff about it, and it'll be sick. And then we'll play it live for the first time on August sixteenth, twenty nineteen, and then we'll release it on our second studio album, The Burnout Generation, out August seventh, twenty twenty. Yeah. Also, Blink One Eighty Two ripoff, and it is one hundred eighty two seconds long. Big Pog. Oh, <gasps> that's so cool. Yeah, three minutes and two seconds. All right. I think my pants are ripping. That's so sick. Fuck yeah. That's, um, that's not okay. <laughs> all right, Ghosts. Ghosts, I don't think... Uh, uh, f fuck the world. Ghosts is the second single. It's coming out next month. Oh. Um, yeah, that song I wrote... That's one of the other songs I was like... I wrote the chorus, and then mm -hmm. I wrote the rest of it like six months later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that song is fucking sick. We're going to do a music video for that, and it's going to be like ghost hunting. And then, yeah... That's so cool. That's so pog, bro. Yeah, I'm fucking pogged up. Pog I don't know what that fuck. means. <laughs> fuck yeah. That, pogged up. That's Track so five, Hard to Love. Uh, good nice. song. Uh, I think that's my favorite song on the album. Uh, it's like <sighs> kind of po it's kind of slower. There's a minor chord in it. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo! Uh, yeah, I love that song so much. Uh, if I had absolutely no self control, uh, that would be the first and last single. Um, <laughs> well, uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, track six, blood. It's about uh, family issues. Mm -hmm. The the line in it is all we've got is blood. I thought of that in the shower, and I was like, mm -hmm. yo! <laughs> I was I think I was peeing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was like, oh my god, is blood. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, I think I will write a massive multiplied hit song about this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, track seven, Porter Street Bridge. There's a fucking ripping guitar solo in it. Yo. Fucking shredding! Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a love song for my girlfriend, Aww. Laurel. Hi, Laurel. Um, yeah, and there's also uh, uh, what what a, there's stuff in it. There's uh, lyrics in it. They they're like really good. Uh, oh, the fucking the do 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 do. It sounds like Weezer, but it's like not Weezer. It's Gold Flame, so like it's like weird. Uh, track That's eight. Better. Yeah. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Who needs Weezer, bro? I have sex so much. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> Copious amounts of sex. All to Weezer, though. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, it cancels track out. Eight. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's like the yeah, the yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. the yeah, okay. the, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah, the big yeah, the big fuck yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah uh, okay, check eight. Worried and wondering. Uh, my friend told me it sounds like the Killers with synths. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I like that song a lot. I think that's gonna be the. I think that's not going to be the third single. Don't get suspicious. That's not the third single. No. Okay. Oh, oh, what? Uh, what? Track eight. Track. Oh, God. Track eight. Oh, this world. Uh, track nine. Save me for myself. Uh, cool song. Yeah. As a key change, like Mayday Parade did that one time. Uh, <laughs> track 10. Things are different now. Sad song. Uh, there's a fucking drum and bass part in it. Uh, like. <laughs> But like slower. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. There's no electronic drums, is basically what I'm saying, but like, you know, the famous way, like how the famous do. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Uh, track 11, Anchorage, is about uh, my friendly acquaintance that passed away last year. And I was like, oh, shit, yo, like 18 year olds like can die. That's fucked up. And then, uh, yeah, we got Rex Thurston from the band Litvar on it, mm-hmm. homie. Oh. Yeah. Then uh, t- track twelve. Someday we're gonna miss this fucking acoustic song about like mm-hmm. our, your like best friends like moving away after like high school. It's like yo, like fuck, bro. Like this sucks. Mm-hmm. So, and then all right, long live the fucking problem child. Oh, you guys know Jesus of Suburbia by Green Day? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's just like that. It's like eight minutes long. It has like six parts. It's like oh uh-huh. yeah. I'm so fucking excited for that song. Pog as fuck. Yeah. Pog so that's the name sounds really cool. Yeah. Like I'm gonna be honest. That name so is so cool. Yeah. I almost named the album that when I was like, huh, Burnout Generation. Yeah, swag. Swiss swag. Swiss swag. Yeah, I get that. I get that. All right. All right, yeah, that's the album. That's the entire <laughs> album. All right. Wow. Um, yeah. So now you just gotta leak it so everyone can hear it early. Exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so uh where's your headspace while you're writing this album? Um it was kind of like a lot of it was written like first kind of like half of 2019 which is like when i was graduating high school so it was a lot of like kind of wanting to not like miss out on my youth i guess Mm -hmm. which i kind of feel like i missed out on a lot because like i didn't talk to anyone in high school and yeah it was just kind of wanting to like not like fuck up my life too much so yeah yeah. i get that yeah solid solid it's all bro that's solid that's solid bro um so we have a lot of time in between from now to august so are you planning on releasing anything in between uh releasing the album like covers or singles oh yeah two more singles uh solid and uh worried and wondering okay uh top secret information um I we have an unreleased cover of uh, "Pathetic" by Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, that I think we might put out soon. We recorded in like April when we were doing those covers things, and then it just like we never finished it. Oh I think we released that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, I have a lot of covers that I just like kind of do for myself. Like I have this thing. Like, I do, like, cover songs for my girlfriend, and then I, like, take her on a date and then, like, accidentally, like, play them in the car. Like, <laughs> Oops. Like, I did Whoops. Lover by Taylor Swift and uh, Fred Astaire by Adam Brock, which, Aww. yeah. So, That's so wholesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oopsie, oopsie. Just happened to cover this for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, like, oh, so, so I know you guys are already insanely famous, and I can't believe yeah. you sat down with us. But where do you Honestly. see the project in the next five years? Like, what are you shooting for? Uh, exactly. Hopefully, like, other, like, dimensions and shit. Uh, <laughs> As you, you should. Know. Yeah. Um, but, like, realistically, like, this, like, corona shit, like, really, like, fucked my ass. Like, really, like, fucking hard. Mm-hmm. Um, as hot as that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> like, we were gonna tour on this album, like I said, like, in August with a band... Mm-hmm. Maybe, oh, maybe I shouldn't mention this. I don't know. Uh, Can you tell us when the cameras are off? Uh, yeah. Right. It's just because okay. like, the tour didn't get confirmed. Yeah. And so I don't want to be like, mm-hmm. yo, this band fucking was going to take us a tour and then it fucking died. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they didn't yeah, yeah. do that, but like, they, yeah, it didn't happen. So. Right. Plot to who's actually Stan and Lennox. It was fucking Stan! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Or are you? But, um,. Uh, what the fuck else? Uh, we were gonna do uh, 
probably some shows with uh oh fuck i can't like say these names because then it's gonna be like <laughs> like yeah, i am associated with these artists <laughs> I am, now they have to play shows with me um <laughs> which they they do because we're famous but like exactly yeah um we're like kind of like boys with Lilac Queen, and I was talking to Lily, and oh, I was like, "Yo, we, we should like Lilac play Queen. some shows." Yeah, Lilac Queen, like we do. Lilac Queen shits. Yeah. like mm-hmm. that's a good thing. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stan, and I was like, "Yo, Stan we Duggan should like." Mm-hmm. Yo, I was talking to Lily, um, and I was like, "Yo, we should like fucking like play shows," and she was like, "Yo, yeah, the fucking shows around like Lola, like Pog is shit," and I was like, mm-hmm. "Yo, let's do that shit when this whole fucking like to- uh, Toyota Corolla is like over." So, All right, well, yeah, uh, Lilac Queen has to play shows with us now, legal, legally. Yeah, uh, yeah. Make sure you hit Jersey on that. I'm trying to see Lilac Queen and Gold Flame together. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. And Jersey. Virginia, please. Virginia, Fuck, yo, we are actually gonna fucking go to Virginia. Like, yo, nobody goes yeah. to Virginia. That's yeah. God, Cause, like okay. my girlfriend's cousins also like live there, mm-hmm. so like mm-hmm. we could like stay there and shit. Oh my god. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that's just a thing. Oh, <laughs> um, so for the last couple questions, we're gonna steer away from music As and go we were straight on to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're gonna go straight to death row. Boom. Uh so uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> death. <laughs> so if you're on death row, uh what would your last meal be with a drink? This goes for all three uh, of you. <laughs> Worms. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Uh, Wait, know, would that be like... your drink or would that be your meal? That'd be both. Uh, are, are liquids a solid? Or, oh my god, what? <laughs> words! Whoa. Are worms a solid? <laughs> I feel like they could be, worms could be drank. Yeah, they, they could. Like group. Yeah. Yeah. So I think worms would be my last drink. And then like, Friendly's god. burger with fucking waffle fries. Mm-hmm. And worms. About and worms. Raw pasta. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yo, yo! Don't talk shit on raw pasta, bro. He eats well, that I'm... on a, like the daily. For a yeah. Snack. Oh my god. I started eating it in on May fifth, twenty seven. Oh, also a thing that my brain does. I can mm-hmm. remember dates really fucking. Wait, when's your birthday? Mine. Yeah. Oh, uh, September twenty fifth. I had to think for a second. Oh, that's yeah. a Friday this year. Is it? Yeah. It's wow, that's be. so cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can check that. That's on Friday this year. Um, anyways, Bro. so I started eating dry noodles, specifically the Lasaga ones, on May fifth, twenty seventeen. Just because I was bored and I was like, "Huh, I wonder what this feels like. I need mm-hmm. to experience new emotions." And then I like <laughs> did it, and then I like didn't stop, and I like still do it. Like, oh I think I've eaten more like dry pasta than I have like regular like cooked pasta. That's like, fair. Yeah, like I go, I've gone through at least like a hundred boxes. Like it's like, oh my god, oh my god, yeah. (laughs) Wait, so I I hate your brain, dude. (laughs) Yeah, this world, it keeps my voice in tip top shape, though. Exactly, it's It's all the the scraping, yeah, just Mm -hmm. like (laughs) it really keeps it like fresh, gets off all the the grit and the cum and shit. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) I hate it here. Oh my god. (laughs) Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> this world. Wait. Does anybody have any normal answers, or are we all gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> are we all gonna be like worms and cum smoothies or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Athenian kind of milkshake. Of... Ooh, ooh, yeah. There is yeah. this fucking. That's my drink. There's this diner like right by my house. I, I mean, you already said the name Athenian Diner. Fuck it, whatever. But With this band, Athenian Diner. Athenian Diner. <laughs> just giving away my location, doctor. Oh, I love this interview. But their milkshakes are hog is hog, and like they mm-hmm. fill up an entire glass, and then they give you like the rest of the leftover milkshake in a giant metal tin. So you just oh my god milkshake for the price of one, Damn. and it's so good. Wow. Oh, and then my last meal, their Western omelet. Ooh, ooh, ooh their Western omelet is so good. Ooh, ooh. solid. I'm really upset because we can't go there because yeah, I would probably uh, probably just like go with like you know like basic pepperoni pizza, uh, pop punk um, fucker, like <laughs> fuck bro, basic <laughs> pepperoni pizza with like maybe like a vanilla coke, but then like for like oh, it's like I was offered like the uh, luxury of a dessert. I'd probably say like banana pudding with like those like vanilla vanilla um. Uh-huh. Fucking, 
whatever they are. The little the cookie wafers, things? Like the, the little wafers? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The wafers yeah, with, like, um, maybe, like, the, uh, uh, banana strawberry naked smoothie juice thing. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, solid. Yeah. Basic. Oh, solid. Solid, bro. Um, so, I have to take off my hat. It's getting too hot and sexy in here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take off more than your hat? No. Yeah, <laughs> um, take off my shoes. <laughs> Ooh, God, it's getting spicy in here. Oh, my God. Um, nice pop. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm like an achievement unlocked. <laughs> Hog unlocked. Wait, okay. Wait, I, I have a good one. Okay, when when you have hawked a loogie a very far distance. Nice hawk! I don't know what comes after this. <laughs> Um, is this it? So, if you could live in one fictional world for a week, where would you live? Uh, <laughs> uh definitely somewhere. <laughs> Whoa. Somewhere city? <laughs> By Oregon uh, Angel? Somewhere city! Out now. Out, uh, some, de- yeah, now I think, right? Yeah, yeah that came yeah. out. It's been out for almost a year. <laughs> it's been out for a while. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot that's a thing that exists. Ha, Spjorf City Frango Disco! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I don't, I don't, no. Yeah. We burned Fredo Disco shirts in our music video, so... As you should. Oh, yeah. Fredo Disco, if you ill, come at us, we will murder you! Jesus Christ. Please, we, I uh, please make that... <laughs> I, uh, this is a genuine threat! I, uh, I dm though, I was like, hey, you wanna come on the podcast and talk about how rich you are? He never responded. <laughs> So. Damn! Yeah, see, we're like humble, rich, famous, hot, and sexy, Thank and he, he's just like, I think I'm gonna uh, be, I'm gonna live in a giant house, and I'm gonna get signed to a major label, and I'm gonna call my band Fredo Disco and be dumb and stupid and dumb. Yeah, and call myself <laughs> yeah. DIY, even though I'm signing to a big label with a big house. Yeah, like what the? You can't be on a major label and call yourself DIY. That's like complete. Like that defeats the entire purpose. Yeah, like you're not doing a damn thing yourself. Fucking what is it? I'm signed to Warner. Fredo. I am signed to Warner Brothers. I am DIY. I am the. I am Warner Brother. I am DIY. Probably. I am Warning Brother. I'm both Warner Brothers. Hi, Mr. I'm Warner Brother. <laughs> Wait, Warner you guys Brothers. never answered the question. <laughs> oh yeah, um, <laughs> this world, um, probably fucking. Oh god, this is gonna be such a fucking goomer answer. Oh, uh, man. probably uh, Los Santos because I could uh, drive without a license and then hit people and then not get arrested. I was literally gonna say GTA too. You Me can do too. Anything you Me want. too. <laughs> all right. So all around, let's just commit murder. Wow. We'll play this GTA cool. It'd be like big, hot, and sexy, and famous, and then like also fucking run over. Yo, and I could customize my foot size so I could just have like giant fucking clown shoes and just be like, <laughs> push, 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 like all the time. Oh my god! And like no one would ever be able to be like, oh, I wonder if that's Jackson. It'd just be like, push, push. oh yeah, that's him. <laughs> they just know. Oh my god! Everybody will know. Wow. Uh, so, um, I have the honor of asking the last question, and Talk everybody now. we've spoken to have said it's the most important question. <gasps> <laughs> what is your favorite color? And you guys seem like uh, the type of people that would give us a hex code, so if you want to do that, that would be fantastic. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah, okay, let's do it. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Let me get it up. Let me, let me, let me get the, the thing. Okay, um, I can't wait. Shoot. I'm, I'm ready. Okay. This world... I need to find like the perfect shade. <laughs> uh, all right. Of like the code for my sex favorite code. color. Like, need to find the sex code for my favorite color. I swear to God, if you're gonna give me the Pornhub orange, we've already I'll gotten get- that. It's not Yo! Fun <laughs> Why'd you give him that idea? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that fun. It's not funny. We already got it the first time we asked for X code. <laughs> I got it already. Guys, is Pornhub canceled? Yes. Be. Damn. That's what I've heard, but. We were gonna put out our new records like exclusively on Pornhub the day before it came out. Like, bro, we're bro. not kidding. Bro, Didn't do Jules it. Bro. Do that. Bro, do it. Yo. Okay. Yo. That we should do it pink. on X videos instead. Oh my god. 
Wait, so, okay. <laughs> okay, let me copy that then. That, like, light shade of pink? Ooh, 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 I love it so much. Pretty sure that that's the code for mine. Oh my god. Bro, if it'll mm. send, I can't, it, it won't let me see it. I'm gonna cry. Whatever fucking, like, dick fuck sunsets colors are, like, that color, that one. Okay, alright, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the dick fuck Actually, color, I got it, alright. Yeah. Oh god, wait, I have my fucking SD card, Pog. Wait. Actually, um, fun fact, I'm actually colorblind. Huh. Oh. Before, like, I, because I actually got the glasses. Mm -hmm. Before I got mm -hmm. the glasses, my favorite color was yellow, because it was, like, one of, like, the, the colors that I could see was, like, not black or white or gray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I actually put the colors on, I was like, yo, what the fuck? Colors exist? Yo. What the fuck? I remember that, fuck? Was, that was so cool to see you seeing your first sunset. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, during Oh, yeah, that was during the music video. During the music video, oh. I was actually... I had the honor to be with, like, like yeah, my closest friends, pretty much. And, like, I just... I remember I was just, like, walking. Like, I just, like, turned my head with my glasses. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Alright, there's like, my fucking like, favorite color. Oh my god. Straight yeah, like, from the SD card. Pog oh, sunset. Those are fucking wild. Fuck yeah, Pog sunset. Does that fit his nook tats? No. Fuck. If you had like a couple extra fingers, you could do Pog sunset. Pog sunset. Oh, that is a very nice blue. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So and like with the red and shit, like the purple, it's like, oh, I fucking love radiation from the sun, bro. Is that, is that, <laughs> that Jackson. Huh? Oh, if, like on your knuckles you got gold phlegm yo, <laughs> yo! oh my god wait i was hanging out with Ree and Haley last night and like re put on Haley's knuckles she's gone it was so fucking funny i don't know that's not like out of context like i don't know why like she's gone is funny it's just like cause of death her smile <laughs> um wait, wait wait hold on hold on hold on wait wait that just reminded me of something ready ready mm. Oh my god! <laughs> Jay is playing from first to last again. God help us all. Awesome. I am from first to last. I am Sungi Moore. Alright. Um, so as Gwai said, that is all the questions we have today. Is there anything you would like to plug? Bro. No fucking <laughs> album! The Burnout Generation! Out August fucking 7, 2020! No single fucking late bloomer out now! No single ghost out sometime next month, I think! Other single, where you're wondering how other time I think after that! Um, buy it! Yeah, that's it. Jackson, it's 11 p.m., bro. Oh my god. Dude, that woke me up. I got shit to do tonight. Thank you for waking me up. Um, so, uh, thank you for now with us. This has been Gold Flame and We're the Good Noise Podcast. Yeah.